Thank you for joining this quick how-to screencast brought to you by Salesforce Support. To see more content like this, hit subscribe. All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to categorize your accounts. You might have a field like number of employees or how much they've spent with you. And you might want to use that field to put the account into a different category. So the way we can do that is by creating a formula field. Now you could do this on any object, you could use any fields, but in this case, I'm just going to use the account object to keep it simple. Give your formula field a name, and for the most part, you're probably going to pick a text type formula field. And now we actually create the body of the formula, all right? So this is where we put the logic, the fields that we care about. This could be really simple or it could be really complex. It's up to you. The most straightforward way to do this, though, is to use something called an if. This allows us to have different things happen in our formula. So we put our condition in that first area. And if that condition is true, the formula will equal whatever's in that second area. If it's not true, the formula will do whatever in the third area. So in our case, let's just pick a field like a number of employees. And I'll go find that field. All right. So if the number of employees is greater than, I'll just pick a number here then what do we want this account to be called? If that is true, then this account will be of type, let's say enterprise, okay? And you could put a text value here. You could even do emojis here if that's something you wanted. This is just using the emoji keyboard built into the Mac or the Windows computer you're using. You could even have images here. So if you wanted to display a logo or an icon or a product image, you could do that as well. Well, what if it's not greater than 10,000 employees, then what? Well, then I'm going to add another if. So if the first condition is not true, then it's going to check the second if. And I'm essentially doing the same thing again, just using a different number for my range. And in this case, it's a mid-market account. And again, I'll do it for, let's say, uh, small business accounts. And you could keep going on and on and on. And whenever you get to your last section, uh, you don't need another if for that. So if all the other criteria are not true, then what's left over. And in my case, I'm just going to call it other. All right. So check the syntax of your formula. Make sure you didn't forget any parentheses. Make sure your commas are in the right place. That can be kind of tricky if you're new to it. And then just finish the wizard. So now you've got a formula field that's going to check to see, is this account more than 10,000? If it is, it's an enterprise account. If not, then is it mid-market? If not, is it SMB? And you can see the values update in real time. So as those numbers update, the account category is different. So now this is one way to do it. And what's great about this is this would show up on your page layouts. Uh, you could have automation rules, use this formula field. I can put it into list views. I could put it anywhere, but maybe you don't need it to be a formula field. There's another option where you can create what's called a bucket column in a report. So you can run a report on accounts and you can more or less tell the report, look, uh, Pick a field, like the employee field, and then you put the ranges you care about in the report within the bucket column. And now when you create the report, here you're going to see me just fill out these values really quickly, but you create your ranges, you create your values, and you essentially have done a very similar thing, but this only exists in the report. Okay, so now I've got a report I can run where I can have a column of my account categories, or I can even group by account categories, but you've got a couple choices. If you want the field to exist on the record and have users be able to see it on their mobile device or list views or really anywhere and use, use it in automation rules, then go ahead and create the formula field. But if you really just need it for a report, then don't bother with the formula field, just create a bucket column. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.